formarna grejer. Ah, ja. Det kunde vara bättre men det går bra. Då går vi. So in today's video, we're going to try and replicate a video that we saw on YouTube using only the cameras we have at hand and I'm going to do my version in Final Cut Pro and Jan Morten back here, say hello. <laughs> He's going to try and do it in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Only so, After Effects. And uh, let's yeah. see how it goes. All right, we are in business. Not everybody has great English like me and you. <laughs> Take it on the spark. <laughs> on the spark. <laughs> but you, um, do you want to set up the big lights first, and then I can set up the the the, the white material and work. That's big a... dome. Oh yes. Feel this. It's the softest <laughs> ever. <laughs> Sandpaper. <laughs> Glory days. Hello, film. Weg and my guitar. Okay. So, what are you going to do now? We are going to iron out all the wrinkles in our green screen. And you see this? I have made a perfect stitch. Where is it? Ah, I'm holding it. Beautiful. Huh? Oh. You can't even see it. Okay, you can see it. Very good. Very, very good. Now, the question is, how big of a green screen do we, do we need? It's oh. big enough to cover up a chukas. <laughs> a ch a chukas? <laughs> yes. But if we take half of a chukas. Half a chukas. Half a chukas. Yes. That sounds Norwegian and English. You know, if we just... If we just tape it and stretch it, we don't, maybe we don't need to, I really don't. So for this project, we decided that we wanted a green screen. So we taped up Jan Morten's big green screen cloth on the wall, and then we lit it up with big lights. We placed the table in front of the green screen and uh, we decided that we wanted to film the whole thing with my iPhone 12 Pro Max because with my iPhone I can film up to 240 frames per second. We used the Filmic Pro app because here we can choose between 24 up to 240 frames per second and with the app when we hit record it will film with 240 frames per second the whole time. So we used big lights to light up the table and then a big light to light up the green screen. First we wanted a picture of the cookie splashing into the cup that Jan Morten is going to show off later on. So that was the first take we did. Then we did the clean plate where Jan Morten is dropping the cookie in the milk or pretending to drop the cookie in the milk and then he is pretending to take the photo but he's actually just showing off the still image of the video that he took earlier. <laughs> <laughs> then we needed the splash. And here is the regular speed of the splash and here we have slowed it down to 10% and you can see that it's a lot slower with 240 frames per second. Then it came down to the editing process. Jan Morten is uh, editing in uh, After Effects and I'm editing in Final Cut Pro. So, how's it going? <laughs> it's so bad. Jesus Christ. Blink. Ah, uh, okay. It may work, I don't know. Look at that beautiful, beautiful face with green stuff all over my face.
Well, I think I'm finished with my version of the video clip and here you go, here's my version of it. An hour, maybe five. <laughs> yes. But I think his version is going to look a lot more, or look better than my version because I didn't have, I didn't take my time with it. So, but even if he's not finished with it, he will be finished with it soon. <laughs> so. Here you go, here's the finished version from Jan Morten. So that's both of our clips, um, which one do you think was best? Please leave it in the comment section down below. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you liked the video. That's it for me, maybe I will see you in another video. You too? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Bye.